What's up guys, I got a pretty cool video for you today. Uh, if you have classic sites pre-2019 and you wanna modernize them and make them look really cool with a new modern look and feel, but you don't wanna do a migration or have to create any new sites, I've got a way for you to do that in this video coming up. So as some of you may know, in 2019, classic team sites were kind of the default for SharePoint. And nowadays, modern communication sites are the root kind of default go-to. So a lot of people will have old team sites that have that old navigation and no publishing features on them. They might just be collaborating on an old classic site. And they've been seeing a lot of new modern communication sites and they want to create news and reports and, and manage stuff and, and use the new web parts. So we actually have a way to go in and update and enable communication features on those classic team sites, which means you don't have to move your content. You don't have to update your permissions. If you're using granular permissions, you don't have to rework and reset all those things. Um, it's pretty cool and it's pretty quick to do. So there's some criteria that you need to meet before you can go about doing this. First off, you need to be a site owner of your SharePoint site that you want to update with these communication features. And you also need to run SharePoint Online Management Shell as an administrator. As far as the site goes, the root site that you want to update has to be a classic team site that's not connected to a Microsoft 365 group. In technical terms, the site template has to be number zero. Um, but if you're unsure about that, you should check with your IT organization or somebody who manages those sites for you. The second thing is, is this is intended to only work on the top level site in a site collection. If you have subsites, you won't be able to activate modern features or communication features on those subsites within the top level root site. So this is just for the main highest level site that you're talking about with classic team sites. Your site actually has site collection features and site features. There's one of each that need to be turned off. They're probably already off by default, but the first one is the site collection feature called SharePoint Server Publishing Infrastructure, and the site feature is called SharePoint Server Publishing. It's just good to make sure these publishing features are off. They probably are for classic team sites already, but you can go into your site settings and double check those just to make sure. So if you're wondering where to find those publishing features at and to ensure they're turned off, we have a blog associated with this and it's linked in the description below so we can show you how to go into your site settings and, and turn off those features or make sure that they're turned off. So next we're gonna show you how to do this and activate these communication features on this classic site, but I wanna show you what the site looks like before that. So here is our classic team site. You can see it's in the classic mode pre-2019. It's got the navigation down to the side here. And if I go into the site contents, you're gonna see the old page style. Um, nothing is modern in here yet. The site pages library just has the pages content type. So it's, it's what we expect. It's what everybody's kind of working with in that older environment. So we're gonna update this now using PowerShell, SharePoint Online Management Shell in particular. So you can open SharePoint Online Management Shell if you have the latest version installed. And actually we wanna run that as an administrator. And there's only two lines of code for our online management shell that we need to run. First, we need to connect to the site. So I'm going to grab my little snippet here of my CMDlet in PowerShell. I'm going to paste it right in. It's connect PNP online with the URL, which needs to be the site URL. And then we use a web login to get in. So I can go grab the URL of the site that I'm trying to update here. And you can find these snippets in the blog linked in the description below. So we're just connecting to the site using PNP online. I just need to authenticate into the site real quick. And then the only other piece that I need for this is enable PNP comm site. Very basic. Now you're not really going to see anything happen as far as SharePoint Online Management Shell is concerned. It's just going to go back to the C Windows System 32 line, but if we go back to our classic team site, it's gonna take a couple minutes for everything to update, but we can start refreshing our site. And over time, we should just slowly start to see the site itself modernize. So it's been a few minutes since I've run the PowerShell command. I'm gonna go ahead and refresh the homepage on here now. I should expect a new homepage to appear now that I've enabled these communication features. So once I click the icon in the upper left hand corner, we have the new homepage. Um, this is the cla same classic team site, but it's been modernized. We get the navigation across the top here. We get some of the modern web parts down below. And if we go back into the site contents, we get the page library is now site pages with the site page content type. So this worked. We enabled the communication features. We get versioning in the page library now, and everything looks like it ran through. 
So now that it, this is done, you might be wondering what's next. Uh, a good first rule is this may not be the home page that you want to use yet because there's nothing really relevant here. You may want to revert your old home page back until you're ready to use this new one with more content. So you can go into the site pages and re reset your old home page until you're ready to move forward with the new one. Another thing you might be thinking about is what about the rest of my site pages? If you guys actually have some current site pages in the classic mode, they did not get converted. So you'll want to go into the page library now and create some new site pages and get those recreated and modern and transfer all the content over there. So the other thing you'll notice is the new modern navigation running across the top of the page instead of down the left hand side. Um, again, this only applies to the new modern pages. So you'll actually still notice the classic navigation showing up on the site settings page. But on new pages, you'll want to kind of update that navigation and get comfortable with editing it right on the page. So another best practice that you should pay attention to before you run any of these lines of code are communicating to your users what's about to happen to the site. Uh, I wouldn't expect a lot of users to take this change super lightly, so you really want to communicate to people who are working on these team sites that something's going to modernize on the home page, you're going to recreate some site pages, um, and you're going to get versioning in the page library, and obviously when you update a classic team site to a communication site, there's going to be opportunities for news and reports and, and a lot of different published content to come out for that. So it's important that your users know that that's going to become active on the site so they don't get thrown off or blindsided when you, we start updating all of these sites. So obviously this isn't the only site that you probably have to do this to. You should kind of go through and check your whole site collections and see which sites you want to update. Maybe you don't need to update all of them, but it's good to kind of take stock of all your sites and, and see where you need to enable this and let the users know across all of those sites what's going to happen. For each of those sites, again, you want to check the requirements, make sure that they're classic team sites at the root of the site collection. You can't do this to subsites. Um, you need to be a site owner on all of them and run the PowerShell script as an administrator. Make sure you don't error out any of those codes and then verify that all those updates are made. Once you've run the code, then you can verify that the home page changed and all those features are enabled and then just double check everything. So hopefully this was pretty helpful for you guys today. Um, obviously it can be really daunting to run a whole migration and move a bunch of content into modern, fresh sites. So this is a good alternative to just enable communication features on your site and keep all your permissions and all of your content untouched. So the update in PowerShell is pretty quick, but it's important to pay attention to all the details, make sure you're doing it to the right kind of site, and verifying all the changes have been made, and keeping in communication with your users on your site before you go in and make those changes. As a reminder, there's a link in the description below to a blog that's associated with this video um, that goes into all the details about those step-by-step -step processes and the codes that you need to use in PowerShell to enable these things. So it's a good idea to review that too. And there, there's also going to be some resource links that'll help familiarize yourself with some of the steps that we talked about in this video. So thanks again for tuning in, guys. If you have any questions about this, you can leave those below on the video. And if you want more hands-on help, we do office hours once a month, and you can find a link to that in the description and find more information about that as well. So thanks again, guys. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.